guys, Jennifer here from Flame and Perishable. This is Jason, the guitarist and mastermind behind the project. Um, we are doing some reaction videos um, to a number of different bands, really, but in particular to Ghost. It's good coffee, huh? Yes. Very good coffee. He put cinnamon in it and cocoa powder. Just trying something new. Mm -hmm. Um, so we are going to be doing a reaction to Ghost's song, Death Knell. And which album is this on? This is their first album, Opus okay. Eponymous. Oh, hmm. Yes, so, sounds rather fatal. This is a tw came out 12 years ago, apparently. Hmm. So. Alright, well let's hear it. Alright. Sounds like rain. is the uh, as a vocalist I always pay attention to the vocal melodies that's kind of my thing so um, he's got this line where, uh, and I'm not gonna be able to do it perfectly because I've only heard it once but da, 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 da. but he goes to the minor note instead of the major note like you'd expect him to and I, I really like little things like that just little details um, makes the song unexpected and uh, Gives a character, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Gives it kind of an uncertain, quirky feeling. Yeah. I, I want to keep listening before I start yeah. jabbering, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs>
There is something unexpectedly Arabian sounding in it. It's ending on a very tense note, almost like a Halloween uh, serial killer kind of vibe there. Yeah, well, me of. yeah, death knell. Um, do you know what a knell is? Like a toll, I think of a bell. Ah, okay, I think. that makes sense. I could be totally wrong. And, okay, and then I really like that one section toward the two-thirds of the song in, yeah. where it, it got into a really nice groove with that uh, guitar riff, you know? Yeah. That was... Uh, that was kind of like a precursor of what they would start doing on the Meliora album, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was one section too with, they do this thing in a couple songs where they do this swell of like the backwards sound that just like whoa, sucks into yeah. the, the present. And I, I really like that effect a lot. We should do that. Yeah. I like that. No, we can. I like that effect. Um, you want to talk about the lyrics a little bit? Oh gosh. The song sounded, um, uh, just just musically, the song sounded very dark and evil. Didn't, would, you, um, would you agree with that? I mean, I it was in a minor key, let me see. No, I was just thinking it sounded really... Hear the chimes, toll out for the end, what the bell's called. I mean, it's about death. It's not just about death. Oh, yes. No, it's, it's not. It's... Evoke the king of hell, strike the death knell. Death knell. Hmm. Can you hear the chimes? Tolls now for the end. Yes. I think it's about uh, the end. That that section is definitely about death. And then there's other parts that I did not understand when we were listening, but I do understand now. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm curious about okay. Um, this on the I guess the third stanza there it says bells call out their doom as Victor reaches womb. Hmm. Um. So, does that have to do with, like, reproductive things? Well, given the next three words, which are all one word, and three letters each, I would say yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we keep the channel uh, kid-friendly. Mm, <laughs> well, we also have kids in the next room, and also I feel very uncomfortable talking about these things. So, receive the beast of evil. I think... Um, I think this is an example, and the Bible does this as well, of someone artistically making an analogy between um, adultery or okay. carnal sexual activity and sin or death and, okay. and evil. I'm guessing that's what's... Yeah, there's a lot of uh, that yeah. I've, I've seen in some of their songs too. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've encountered that theme and other songs. And I'm thankful that they, when they do write stuff about that, it's not so overt that like, you'd be embarrassed if you showed, if you were listening to it, somebody walked by and yeah. heard that, you know? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> They'd really have to be studying Like you're lyrics. playing it in your garage while you're working out or whatever and your neighbor walks by and they're like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. So, but. You know, neighbor? Yes. I, I guess if uh, if, they, if they walked by right when they were out spelling Satan, um, you might get some funny looks. That is what would happen to me. Yeah, that happens. Definitely what would happen to me. But that's the kind of thing that I welcome those kind of conversations. I'm like, come on over here, let's talk about what you just heard. You know? Yes, and they'd be like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. My dog needs to, uh, my dog needs to go poop in someone else's yard. Goodbye. No, come on, <laughs> join me as I sharpen my knives. <laughs> I could use the company. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, but, um, I mean, this is kind of like, this is, there is a biblical analogy between um, idolatry and adultery. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, it's used quite a bit. Yes, it's very pronounced. And so I think that um, what they're saying here is they're equating succumbing to death with succumbing to evil, with succumbing to some sort of sexual temptation. And I think that, I mean, it's accurate. It's, it's, it's a good analogy. No. It's bona fide. Or should I say, owner fide. Oh gosh, I was afraid you were going in that direction. Um. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. um, that's a great movie, by the way. Uh, really? That's in a movie? 
Yeah. Oh, I was afraid you came up with it yourself. Uh, oh, brother, where art thou? He's bona fide. Well, yeah, but they don't say bona fide. No, I added that. You added that. Okay. That was a, a Jason uh, ism. Oh. Okay. So. Yes. I hope y'all enjoyed our uh, reaction to this song. This was fun, and. I love these awkward conversations because, uh... Sometimes I feel like I'm married to a teenager. Yeah, you are. <laughs> a very old teenager. Oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's a cool song, and I'm actually going to look up what Nell means, because I'm pretty sure it means, like, a bell toll, but... Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure. You could have just used bell because it rhymes with nil. No, because then it would be death toll or death. Dang yeah. it. Let death me look bell. it up really quick. No, death bell. I, I need to know because a knoll is a little hill. This is a nell. This is a nell. Nell definition. The sound of a bell. Ha ha! I was correct. Especially when run solemnly for a death or a funeral. Yes. So sad. Yes. Verb of a bell to ring solemnly, especially for a death or a funeral. It's basically the same as the noun. All right. Mm. All right. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, make a comment. The things and you learn. Please watch our uh, cover songs. We've uh, we posted our first ghost cover song today. Today. Which image? Go check that out. Yeah, and awesome. If I do say so myself. Don't forget to um, like, subscribe, and share. I, I think I already told them that. I was actually going to tell them to eat something healthy today. Oh yes, yes, definitely eat some exercise, fruits, vegetables, exercise, and um, brush your teeth before you go to bed. If you do not like broccoli, eat Brussels sprouts, and if you do not like Brussels sprouts, try beans. This is my advice for the day. Except beans have a lot of sodium. Don't get the canned beans. You got to get the bag mm -hmm. beans, and then you can just pop those mm -hmm. like pills. Yeah, and you you have to count your calories. This includes fiber. No, you subtract the fiber. No, you 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 also count the fiber. Okay. Calories are calories. This is how that works. Yes. Mm. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up. You need to know that. Good night. Thank you.